Welcome back to the sawmill again today guys. I'm Chris and today I have some cedar up on the sawmill. That's probably the most common type of wood that I cut on the sawmill here at our farm. Uh, but today I want to talk to you about something a little different and that is what I've been noticing about some of the lumber that I have drying. Now as I was saying most of what I have cut so far is cedar. Um, I've actually used a lot of the cedar that I've cut here for projects, but here's some of the stack that's drying here. And here's another smaller pile that I have drying as well. Um, I have had no issues with the cedar. It, I, everything's gone really well from uh, cutting it to stacking it to drying it, and I'm really happy with how all that's went. Um, the issue that I'm having, I'm going to take you over and show you some of the cherry that I've cut. So I have played around cutting a few different types of wood, but uh, nothing in too large of quantities besides the cedar that I was talking about. And I'd say the next uh, biggest amount that I've cut has been this cherry. Now, as you guys can see, what I'm running into is this what they call I believe checking or splitting on the ends and you can see it's really bad on some of these and that's kind of one of the areas that I still have a lot to learn about and um, I've had this mill for a little less than a year now and I'd say the majority of this cherry may have been cut about six months ago, give or take, four, four to seven months ago kind of thing. And I thought I'd just experiment leaving it as is, so I just stacked it. Um, I have read a little bit, seen a couple videos about, uh, I think the main product they have is called Anchor Seal that you can paint on the ends of your logs. Um, I do know a little bit about it. Um, I think that the reason this happens is because the moisture, when it's trying to leave the board, uh, kind of gets trapped in the middle because it's a, a lot harder to get out through the sides of the board than it is through the end. So all the moisture tries to, es all the moisture can escape through the ends of the board a lot quicker then the end dries out a lot quicker than the middle and that causes the end to split. Um, so that's kind of what I know about it. Um, I have not looked into um, all the knowledge that I could probably gain too much yet. Um, I definitely need to do a lot more research, but I'm just showing you guys this because um, a lot of the times I get a lot of knowledgeable people that comment in my videos and uh, have some good comments. So what do you guys think is the checking in that that, I, that you're seeing here? Um, I'll show you again. Stuff like that. I moved to this pile aside so that you can see like how far down into the board it goes. Um, so I'm assuming it's kind of the same thing, especially these ones down here that have these huge cracks. That's obviously going to go in for quite a ways, but what do you guys think? Is that something that's kind of normal? Um, is there something I can do to prevent that? Um, I've even heard some people say oh, you can just use paint and put some paint on the end and that'll help. And then I've read contradicting things that say that it's not going to do anything except maybe make you feel better. But uh, is the anchor seal, I know it's really expensive or it seems expensive. I don't know how long it lasts. Do you guys think that stuff's worth it? Um, or do you think there's a different solution that I could come up with to uh, prevent this from happening? So as you can see, here's a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. This is mostly lightwood, I think. Uh, it's probably mostly cedar, maybe a bit of spruce in there too. And there's hardly any of that checking or splitting going on with it. And then you come over here and some of these boards on top, this is all cherry here. Some of them look perfectly fine. 
and then some of them like I can see one over here that'll have a really bad split in the end there's one here that has a split and then if we go down underneath the pile I've got some of these wider boards underneath here there's a big split there this one has a little bit of a split but uh yeah just making this video to see what you guys think am i being overly fussy about this stuff or it, am i doing something that's kind of you know ruining all my hard work and uh is there something i should be doing to prevent that from happening so the reason I'm kind of asking is because it might already be too late, but I have the two main piles of cherry lumber. There's one here, and then there's one over on the trailer here. And the one over on the trailer here seems to be a lot worse. And why that kind of concerns me is I'd say I cut this stuff probably two to three months prior to cutting the stuff over there so that's kind of why it's concerning to me is because this stuff really seems to be splitting and cracking a lot more recently so i don't know if that's something that happens you know after the six seven month mark does it really start showing up with these splits and cracks as it starts drying out more and is there something that i've done over here that's making this stuff not as bad or is this stuff over here in a couple months gonna start splitting and cracking the same as this and the stuff over here if it is going to start doing that is there anything i can do about it now or is it too late because what i've heard is that with the anchor seal at least it's best to get that on the ends of the logs basically immediately like as soon as you can because uh it just helps the whole thing to dry a lot more evenly so i don't know if i you know took some anchor seal or some paint or something and started putting them on the ends now if that's really going to do anything or if it's just not going to do anything at all so anyways guys i just wanted to make that short little video to show you where i'm at um i'm always trying to learn more about this craft of sawmilling. Um, I've definitely spent most of the time learning about the actual machine and um, all my drying for now has been just kind of putting the stickers in, stacking it and letting it naturally air dry. Um, like I was saying for the cedar, that seems to be more than adequate way to go. Um, I thought that that was working good for the cherry here too but uh apparently it might not be um if it stopped at this it wouldn't be too bad i suppose but my fear is maybe it's going to get worse i'm just not sure yet so we'll see how that goes and especially for future milling there's a lot of maple that we have on this property i really want to get in to sawing a lot of maple uh, there's a lot of other species here on the farm too. Uh, there's poplar, there's a lot of spruce that I haven't really done much with yet. Um, there's lots of other things like tamarack, hemlock, there's even a couple ash trees, but I don't think I'm going to cut them down unless they come down by themselves. But anyways, guys, is this something that you think happens mostly with cherry? or is it something that happens with all hardwoods? Like I was saying, I have a lot of maple, so I'm gonna probably try looking up specifically if that happens a lot with maple and if I should be using the Anchor Seal product. Um, like I was saying, it is pretty expensive, so if there was like a way not to have to buy that all the time, that would be good, but if it's something that's gonna save you you know hundreds of dollars in lumber for not so much money put out on that stuff then maybe it is worth it but i just kind of wanted to make this video as more of a you know open forum i guess i could say if you guys want to leave your comments or suggestions of 
um, if you've run into this kind of stuff before, like I was saying, I've only had the mill just under a year. So this is literally the first stack of hardwood that I've had drying. It's probably only been drying for, like I was saying, seven months maybe. Um, so this is the furthest point I've got into drying hardwood. And this is kind of what it's looking like now with those checks and splits. So that's why I wanted to make this video, get your opinions. Is this normal? Have you guys run into this? What have your solutions been? And I'd love to hear from you on that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.